In the meantime, to yet another medical emergency in the cockpit, this time during a flight from Houston to San Francisco, the second emergency in 24 hours. Last night, we reported on that pilot who died mid-flight, the co-pilot landing the plane in Syracuse. Well, tonight here, the new case, a United co-pilot losing consciousness, the other pilot landing the plane, the emergency teams ready to help. And we now know what caused this latest case. ABC's David Curley tonight. For the second day in a row, we have the airport site, United 1614. A jetliner with only one of the pilots at the controls. The United co-pilot had a seizure in flight, announced by the captain, according to a passenger. The co-pilot, as you can see, regained consciousness and walked down the stairs himself during the emergency stop in Albuquerque. Yesterday, a different story. American Airlines Captain Mike Johnston, just 57, died while in the air. He'd had a double bypass nearly a decade ago, and his family in Utah has been told it was likely a heart attack taking the pilot who loved to fly. Watching those big jets and looked up and said, I'm going to fly me one of them someday. And uh, his mom said he always just had a passion for that. These incidents, especially involving the death of a pilot, are rare. Only eight others like this in the past 20 years. Those statistics only reinforce how unusual it is to have an incapacitated pilot two days in a row. David? David Curley covers aviation for us. David, thank you.